use it to cook for me. Camera set up and prepare my visitors. Right now, the water bell indicated that we're set and prepared for the opening of those original gates ahead of the container ship to the left hand side. We have drink 26 million gallons of water from the upper chamber where you can take a vessel in position YM enhancer into the middle lock chamber at the right of the red color gate. We need to ensure that both level is equal so we may then open the water gate. So camera is prepared now. YM enhancer, the container ship that you observe to your left. Vessel that sinks 346 this morning starts its transit from Panama City Pacific Ocean. The vessel already sailed through the middle floating block, which is a two-step, and thereafter the Pedro Miguel, which is a single step. The middle floating block, the one that you guys visited yesterday for cameraman. Yesterday you have been in the middle of the clock, so this vessel already sell the container ship, already sell at 3 in the morning, those locks in Panama City. In order to be right to the lake, it took a total of 85 feet or 26 meters, and now we're going to help the ship drop back to the ocean level. While on the further lake, vessels from ocean twice to the lake, and after transit from the lake, they will be selling to Pedro Miguel and Mira Florida. Those water gates that we observe opening right now are the original since 1914. We have ventured that those gates were assembled here in the position and it weighs around 690 tons. Open those gates if we want. But the breakfast needs to maintain 
close on to Wiki Park Kawai. The gate is 700 tons we mentioned, seven story building high from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Halfway down of the gate, we seal it with water, and halfway up, they're totally hollow. So they're floating gates and uses only 21 horsepower hydraulic arm to open and close in about two minutes. Back in the days, a large pier system located at the ground level nearby the restroom used to be the mechanical system that opened with 40 horsepower. But in case we have no electricity or low voltage, then we require men to open those gates manually, no good at all. Let's take advantage, two foot clearance on each side. Very important to guide the transit of the vessels with the electric towing locomotive or the mules. Observemos en estos momentos la poca distancia entre el barco y el muro donde le queda medio metro tan solo. Vamos a acompañar el tránsito de los barcos con las locomotoras o las famosas mulas del canal de Panamá. Estos trenes de color plateado que están a los laterales del barco para mantener el equilibrio. JM Enhance, una embarcación que requiere de seis locomotoras, tres de cada lado. Medio metro le queda entre muro y buque. Le brindamos dos cables por cada locomotora hacia el barco para mantener este equilibrio y saludemos parte del personal del barco de uniforme naranja y parte del personal panameño, mis compañeros de camisa celeste y casco color And the Panamanian crew, our co-workers with a white collar helmet, side blue collar shirt, and a baby blue sand. Line handlers are the ones responsible for packs the cake that belong to the train and will be sent to the ship. White and enhancer, 4,081 20 foot container capacity. 2,443 container capacity above the deck. 1,638 containers below the deck. This barco of containers has a capacity of 1,443 containers sobre la cubierta, siempre refiriéndonos a aquellos que se sienten lazos, y debajo de la cubierta una capacidad de 1,600 containers.
big and newer vessels, instead of transiting two full Panamax, will be only one post Panamax. Very important, vessels require to surrender total command to a Panamanian pilot, being always a Panamanian responsible of the Jordi, and they require to pay the toll that we have mentioned at least 48 hours prior to the transit. An electronic wire transfer from bank to bank since no credit card or checks are accepted at all. Sailable yachts and personal boats, the minimum fee $800 for those sailboats up to 50 foot length, and sailboats up to 100 foot length, $3,200.